Hello everybody. Thought I'd make a quick video here showing you how to install and set up debugging in Visual Code on a Linux environment. In this case we're running Ubuntu. I've seen some videos on having it done in Microsoft but not really any in Ubuntu so I thought I'd go ahead and make one. So the first thing you do is you gotta get Visual Studio Code installed and you can do that by running this command snap install classic code or any other way that you can get it installed. Once it's installed I want you to go ahead and make a folder we're going to test this with. And then right click on the folder and click open with other application and go ahead and select Visual Studio Code there. After you do that, you're going to have to wait a second here and you should see Visual Code open and more importantly you should see here the name of your folder. In there, you can go ahead and create a new file and you can call that anything you want but we're going to call it test.cpp. Press enter and then you can go ahead and say include iostream, you know, do a hello world program basically. Actually we're gonna do more than just hello world uh, so that when we do set up the debugging we can see stuff. So maybe we'll make a little variable and then we'll set the variable to like, you know, a couple of things just so that we can see it happen. That should be good enough. Okay, so uh, the first thing is you want to go to extensions here. Uh, actually, down here, my bad. And then you want to look for C++, IntelliSense, Debugging, and Cobra. Now, in this case, I uh, I actually had it, in, even though I only installed Visual Code to show you, it was already installed, but in this, you, you'll see basically something like, you just put another one up so you can see what the button should look like. So you, you should see something that says install like this. And then you're going to go ahead and click that. And uh, once you install it, you'll basically reload the program and it's going to reload the extensions or whatever. And then you'll basically have it here at, on the list. At first you won't see anything. So once you got it installed, then, uh, well, you're halfway there. So from there, if you try to just go and hit start debugging, it's going to ask you to select something. So in here, I want you to select C++ GDB. And then from these options, just uh, go ahead and click uh, the first one. All right? And so now, more importantly here, you, you're going to have this little launch.json open up. And in here, if you run into any problems, it's, it's going to be in this directory addresses. So don't mess with them as they are now. Just let it be. And assuming that everything here is set up correctly, then you should have no problem. So let's go ahead and just set a couple of breakpoints just to see if things are working. And now go ahead and hit start debugging again. And as you can see here, we have hit the breakpoint. And you can see the local variables there. We're going to see how that gets updated. Bam, 10. Bam, hello world. And then you can see here the two printed. So you can see that now it is up and running. If, you're, if this is not working, if you're getting some errors, go ahead and make sure that you're not messing with these or manually input the address of the location of the program. These are variables and this should automatically fill it in, but if you're having any issues, just go ahead and manually put the location of your sort of debug test folder that you've made. Um, if not, then you can just kind of look at these and copy it, but it should be set by default. If, if you're getting any additional errors, that means that you did something and you want to start out with a clean install of the program and then everything should be good to go. Make sure that you have the extension installed and that once you install it, uh, it you know, it, go ahead and click here and it should just show you the stable uninstall. If this is something like reload as it was showing for me, then it means you got to reload the program and there you go. That's the, pretty much all there's to it. There's not much tricks. It's mostly if you run into an error after that, Go ahead and copy that and paste that error into Google and I'm sure you'll find some solutions.